to the world, this is the Chevy Volt, GM's miracle car. Plug it in at home, it goes 40 miles on electricity. After that, a generator keeps the batteries charged, and you keep going all the time on electric power. Now, this is, of course, the concept that's made the rounds at auto shows. GM wants to have a production version on the road in 2010. They've now finished the E-Flex system that powers the Volt, and the first test vehicle it goes into looks like this. Not that thrilling, huh? That's actually an old Chevy Malibu, an old one, not even the latest model. While well, GM engineers test the system and this vehicle is fine for that, designers will refine what the final Volt, the production version, will actually look like. They're using wind tunnels to check out the aerodynamics. That's important for all vehicles, but it's exceptionally important if you want to get exceptional fuel economy. Now, this is a one-third scale model of what they believe the final production Volt will look like. Obviously, very heavily camouflaged. First reaction, I thought it looked like a Pontiac G6, then maybe a Camaro. And, well, then I was totally confused, and that's the point of it. Now, GM did give us a rare glimpse at both the wind tunnel, where they're working out the aerodynamics, and the electric lab, where the lithium-ion batteries are being developed. By the way, that lithium-ion battery on the right is the same power, but one-third the size of the battery on the left. That battery on the left that's signed by a bunch of people is one that powered the EV1 electric car. Boy, they've made a lot of progress in a decade. We'll talk about that in just a minute with Mickey Bly. He's the chief engineer of GM's hybrid and electric vehicle program. But first, he updates us on how things are going and where they go from here in the Volt testing program. Now what we're doing is going to that next step of putting lithium-ion in board, which everybody's been talking about, to be able to get that 40 miles of electric range. And uh, we've learned a lot. We've got a lot more to do. Do you feel you can get that 40 miles? Absolutely. Everything that we've done from a simulation, early testing shows us there will be no issues at all with the 40 mile electric range. What still do you need to learn about the lithium ion batteries? What what kinds of tests will you be doing? Yeah, the, the battery's got to go through a, a number of more of testing at the cell level, at the suppliers, and in here in our battery lab. But also what we have to do now is how does it behave in the vehicle? Batteries love to be, like humans, about the same temperature, you know, somewhere around 70 or 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's really important for us to be able to manage the battery from a thermal point of view. We've got to be able to cool it in the summertime in the desert. We've got to be able to heat it up when we're in northern Canada in the wintertime. Those are really the last kind of avenues of understanding how this battery behaves. What's amazing is you've got one of those batteries sitting next to an EV1 battery, about 10 years difference in technology, but it's the same power and one-third the size. Absolutely. It's kind of like going from the mainframe computers to your desktop to your laptops to your Blackberries. You know, the, the computing power that's out there is pretty much as a revolutionary change in the last 10 years in battery technology. Is it looking good to meet that 2010 goal? Well, it's very clear what our target is, and our leadership has asked us, what do you need to make it happen? And we have not been turned down once. GM believes it's made a lot of progress on the Volt, and they really want to get it on the road in 2010 at an affordable price, like about $30,000. They also want it out in big numbers, like about 100,000 sales a year. Now, it's hard to determine an exact fuel economy rating for something like the Volt. Of course, if you only drive short trips under 40 miles, it's all electric. You use no gasoline. But if you take a long trip, say you drive across country, well, then maybe you get about 50 miles per gallon, they say. GM thinks, on average, most people will get about 150 miles per gallon using the Volt. With new fuel economy rules, the Volt could go a long way in offsetting some of GM's bigger vehicles as they need to average 35 miles per gallon by 2020. I'm Auto Beat reporter Jeff Gilbert.